What is going on guys? TK Okusenko and welcome back. Yes, back. Finally. Three weeks, four weeks, I don't even remember. I said I was going to make a skydiving video and it got canceled. So here I am back with another video today for you guys. I'm doing a QA. and a uh, I know it's so creative to do a Q&A. Wow, unboxings, Q&As, vlogs, so creative. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to give you guys something. And uh, you guys asked me some questions. So I figured I'd come back with a Q&A. So uh, without further ado, before we get started, smash the like button and let's get 50 likes. Let's try and hit 50 likes on this video. I really appreciate that. And uh, actually... Uh, tomorrow I rescheduled to go skydiving so hopefully that video comes out next week sometime and uh, yeah I'm a little nervous to go skydiving but it should be fun I've always wanted to do it but now that it's coming it's like whoa you're going skydiving <laughs> so it's it's uh, I'm trying to get in my head uh, not to uh, not to bitch out last minute so yeah one like equals one prayer that I make it up and I make it down to upload the video. So yeah, so I'm filming on my phone. So I wrote it down on this piece of paper. So if, uh, if I can't read, then uh, that means I have shitty handwriting. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question is from XA.17X. What was your first WWE live show? Uh, my first WWE show was back in 2008, no, 2009, it was back in 2009, before WrestleMania, it was in White Plains or Poughkeepsie in that area, yeah, it was a WWE live event, Road to WrestleMania, and, um, yeah, I think... Boogeyman was on the card, Kelly Kelly was there, Shawn Michaels, CM Punk, back when he had long hair, Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, Edge. So I think John Cena was supposed to be there, but he didn't, he, he wasn't there. So yeah, a uh, long time ago, but that's crazy. I still remember little, little moments, small moments. I used to have pictures. I wish I could post them on the screen right now, but uh, it's on like an old computer, but I have pictures somewhere. I'll have to find them. From double I conic women underscore. Uh, when will we be getting ring practice videos and photos? Never. <laughs> I I'm training at Team 3D Academy in Danbury, Connecticut. Wonderful gentlemen that work there. Uh, my trainer is Bubba Ray Dudley and Randy Sean. Uh, they train me there and. Yeah, that's about all I can really say. We kind of keep it private over there, so we don't really post videos or photos, none of that. Uh, we, we keep it private. Anything that happens in there stays in there. So, um, yeah, I know. I, I, I wanted to uh, post videos uh, of, like, progress and stuff of how I'm doing so I could show you guys my viewers and stuff. But I, uh, I respect their policy, and they don't want photos or none of that uh at the academy so i have to respect their rules so yeah i don't I, i'm not going to be posting any videos or photos but when i start wrestling on shows you for sure will be seeing promos um like if i have to cut like a promo on someone i'll be uploading on this channel if i have if i have a match i will have someone try and video it uh, my gimmick is kind of the YouTube base, um, so I, I I don't even know why I said gimmick, but but my character I want to portray has something to do with YouTube. So you guys will be seeing clips once I do more character work and uh, do matches, but that's not gonna be a while from now. It might be another year or so before I have a match because it's been taking a while to learn um, all the basics and stuff. And that's how we do it at Team 3 at Academy. Take it nice and slow. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know on my social media when, I, uh, when I'll be having my first match. 
Who would be your dream tag team partner from NJ Master? Dream tag team partner uh, for women, it would probably be Sasha Banks. Um, and for guys, it would probably be Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins or AJ Styles, CM Punk, because those are my, my favorite wrestlers. So that would be really cool to tag team with them. Or like a tag team specialist like Jeff Hardy, Bubba Ray Dudley, my trainer. That'd be really cool to tag with him. Matt Hardy. The Young Bucks, one of the Young Bucks. So, you know, tag team wrestlers or my favorite wrestlers. But uh, mainly Sasha Banks, mixed tag team. That'd be sweet. From Wrestling Fan 434 what made you become a ref? Uh, so, if you guys don't know, I was a referee. I'll put the clip right now, just a small clip. So yes, there is some kind of clip for you, uh, the person that asked about in-ring training. I mean, I know it's not me, like, wrestling, but there's a clip, but yeah, I, uh, I got to ref for House of Hardcore. So thank you very much, House of Hardcore and Tommy Dreamer, one of my other trainers, uh, for letting me be a ref. And that was a great weekend. I wish I could have vlogged that. Um, it was a great weekend, but yeah, uh, I was a referee and I am a referee because it's Tommy Dreamer's promotion and Tommy Dreamer uh, sometimes has his students do stuff like referee or do matches and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I did that. And the Comic-Con that we're at, it was just basically all the students from Team 3D Academy uh, doing everything. So we did the ring announcing, the ring bell, the, uh, the, the music, the, uh, the wrestling, and refereeing. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was very exciting. I never did it before, so... That was, uh, that was a very exciting thing to do, and that's why I was a referee. From underscore SCXR dot X underscore, crazy name, who is your girlfriend? Ah, my girlfriend. Well, I did have a girlfriend <laughs> a while back. But, uh, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend right now. Uh, sorry to burst your bubble. I don't know who you thought was my girlfriend. Uh, I do have wonderful lady friends, though, uh, that I've posted pics online. So I don't know if you thought one of them was my girlfriend. But I have cool friends uh, that are girls. So shout out to all of you guys. But, yeah, no, I don't have a girlfriend yet. Uh, hopefully, one day, uh, one of these lady friends or someone else I meet down the line wants to take your boy on a date or I'll take them on a date, but you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, we'll see. From Liz Flair, are you going, this is a great question, are you going to SummerSlam next year? I think I should just end it off that uh, because it's a big fat, you know. No, I'm not going to SummerSlam. <laughs> From Jacob6905, bad a baller. How you doing? Uh, when are you facing Malcolm? Muscle Man Malcolm. The, uh, that guy. Hmm. Well, I've challenged him a couple times. And, uh, he just blew me off like some jobber that I am. I, uh. I mean, I would make him look good because I actually know how to take bumps on, like, the other schmucks that he's faced. And maybe they do know how to take bumps, just not like me. So, uh, if I were, because, you know, odds are he's going to make me job to him. So, uh, I will I will make him look good. But uh, if we have an actual wrestling match, and it's not for his YouTube channel, uh, I definitely wouldn't be jobbing to him. Uh, and we'd have a pretty good, pretty good match, I'd hope. I'd hope. So, yeah, hopefully uh, in the future, he, he starts training soon, I believe. He did train last year, but he stopped. So, yeah, I'm still training. Uh, I started back in January, so 
I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see each other down the line. I miss you, bro. I haven't seen you uh, since Mania, so hopefully, um, hopefully we uh, wrestle one day. That'd be pretty cool. From Jesse Banks, WWE, what made you like Nikki Bella, the GOAT, greatest of all time, Nikki Bella? Do I have anything Nikki Bella near me? No, I don't have anything Nikki Bella near me. I have this. I have this Evolution Cup with Nikki Bella on it. Yeah, uh, Nikki Bella. I don't know. What can I say? Nikki. Oh, I have this. I have this 8x10 that she uh, signed for me when I met her uh, a couple years ago. So, yeah, cool. Uh, good picture, by the way. But, um, yeah, Nikki Bella, I don't know. Uh, back when uh, Total Divas started in, like, 2013, I want to say, 2014, something like that. I think it was 2013. So, uh, uh, like, six years ago, I started watching Total Divas when it came on the E! Network, like everybody else, just to see, you know, what's happening. Uh, I liked the Bella Twins before, but once I saw that show and like how Brie and Nikki are like so different, I like I kind of like them both even more for like their personalities and stuff. So don't get me wrong, uh, I enjoyed their like their in ring work. They, 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 I'm not gonna say they were the best wrestlers, but they were they were really good. Um, you know the 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 women back then didn't really get any opportunities to actually show what they could do so i'm sure they all could wrestle it's just the women didn't really get much time so you can only do so much in three minutes five minutes can't really do much so you know they 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 get a lot of shit you know for for not being good wrestlers but they, they're all good in their own ways they they all have their special abilities like nikki was like a powerhouse wrestler she did power moves and she was different so that's why i connected to her because she did different moves uh, compared to everybody else, and she had a different style. Uh, I liked her look. She, with the hat, you know, had the hat, like the the uh, the, the jersey top uh, that she still rocks. Um, well, used to. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just, I liked her style. She's gorgeous, um, and, yeah. I, uh, I've loved her ever since, and she's an amazing person to meet. Uh, if you ever have the chance to meet the Bella Twins, they're awesome. But, yeah, Nikki Bella, she's one of the nicest people I've ever met. So, yeah, miss her. From, I, I, I hope I get this right, Fire Red Stars. Fire Red Stars. Favorite moment from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. My favorite moment... Uh, I really like the beginning collage or like anytime they revert back to like their little origin story and they like make fun of the past movies. Um, those are always enjoyable to watch. But yeah, um, and the the, uh, the 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 what's up danger uh, scene where he like jumps off the building and he like does like a backflip and just the music and everything. And it, it's a visually pleasing movie. But if you're on like drugs I wouldn't watch it. It's like, but it is kind of like a stoner movie. Like, it really, like, it's crazy. If you guys haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse, I definitely recommend go seeing that. Uh, it's a great movie. From Angel Club WWE, if you were a ref in WWE, what would it be, what would the match be, and who would be in the match? Um, if I could ref any match, it'd be Nikki Bella versus Sasha Banks. Uh, just because, like, I'd be in the middle of that, and uh, yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Like, that's one of my, like, dream matches. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, it's happened before, and it's cool to, like, look back, but, like, current Nikki Bella, Sasha Banks, like, they're completely different characters now, and it would be cool to, like, see, like, a build-up story, because I think the one time they faced each other was just a match on Raw. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if I could ref any match, it'd be Sasha Banks. My favorite wrestler currently versus my favorite women's wrestler of all time. They're, they're both tied for my favorite women's wrestler of all time. They're they're both amazing. So, yeah, that'd be a pretty cool match to see or a ref. From Miss Jazzy Bebe. Shout out to uh, Adam Cole, Bebe. What is your all-time favorite Spider-Man movie? My all-time favorite Spider-Man movie probably is the first one from... 
2002 with Tobey Maguire. Um, just a classic. It's it's a classic. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably say my top my top three: Spider Man one with Tobey Maguire, Spider Man two with Tobey Maguire, and uh, the latest Spider Man movie was actually really awesome. So yeah, that'd probably be number three. But yeah, those are my all time favorites. Uh, and last but not least, from my girl, from my only friend that asked the question, shout out to you, my girl, Brianna Dot Twenty Seven. Go follow her on Instagram. Her uh, her pictures are amazing, and uh, she's really funny. We we always talk like every day. Um, and yeah, here's her question. <laughs> uh, what's one place you wanted to visit in the entire world? She thought this was a bad question, but I actually, uh, I actually like the question. It's a lot more original than some others that I've gotten. It might be a generic question. I, like, now I think about it, it is kind of a generic question, like if it was a regular Q&A. But I mainly get wrestling Q&A, so it was kind of different than all the wrestling uh questions so i'll answer it <laughs> uh my favorite place in the world or not my favorite place in the world uh one place i want to visit is hawaii um uh, it just it looks like a beautiful place or the bahamas or any like tropical island that'd be really nice uh greece um spain she mentioned Alaska. That would be pretty lit to go to, even though I hate the cold. I live in Connecticut. I hate the cold. I hate the snow. But that'd be pretty cool to, like, go to, like, somewhere that's always, like, cold and, like, just experience how it is. The, uh, maybe one day I'll uh, have a epic vlog, maybe with Brianna. If you want to go, we'll, we'll go. I looked up flights for hawaii once it's not cheap but, but i don't know maybe uh maybe we'll go somewhere i don't know <laughs> we'll see yeah i definitely i definitely want to go to hawaii or some like tropical island that'd be pretty cool so yeah and her last question she asked to and uh she's special so i'll answer her too uh what's the top thing on your bucket list and i actually did it i don't have the uh the cup near me but oh well i have this wrestlemania and uh that was on my bucket list for a long time was to attend a wrestlemania and fortunately i uh attended four uh i attended wrestlemania 32 in dallas and i attended wrestlemania 33 in orlando wrestlemania 34 in new orleans and this past year wrestlemania 35 in new jersey uh, that was probably the worst one. <laughs> Just, well, I wouldn't say the worst one. Uh, but weekend wise, it was just like very hectic and like traveling uh, by train and Uber and it was just, it was hectic. But I had a great time because I hung out with my best friends, uh, David and Brianna, or not Brianna. <laughs> uh, love you, Brianna. Uh, but no, Brittany. Uh, who I'll be seeing in a couple weeks. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. But that was fun uh, this past year. But that was on my bucket list. Uh, skydiving, which I'm doing tomorrow, hopefully. That was on my bucket list. Uh, and to be a professional wrestler. So, and I'm doing that right now. So, I'm pretty much... Uh, I've covered all the check marks. I, I have, like, little goals I want to do. But those are, like, some of the main ones I've wanted to do. And, yeah. Uh, so those are the questions guys thank you guys for watching uh if i didn't answer your question it you either were too late i don't know the the video cut off i don't know if i'm running out of storage or not but uh i'm glad i got through all the questions before it cut off <laughs> but yeah uh if i didn't get to your question i apologize uh i've probably answered it in previous videos so you could check back there or um or I just didn't get to it in time. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next week's video. And then I'm going to Vegas in a couple weeks. So that should be exciting. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those two videos coming out uh, within the month of September. And uh, I'll see you guys in the skydiving video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.